guys and welcome to my channel Scuba Travel and Adventure my name is Thomas and today in the video uh, we'll make one of the most famous rides here around Calgary and that goes through Kananaskis country um, if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and uh, if you will like the video don't forget to hit that like button if you don't like the video hit the like button twice i'm heading out today with two of the same buddies that we did the british columbia trip the trip it's not that long it's probably about three four hours depends how many stops we're gonna do on the way nice day to enjoy on the bike and we are heading out uh, that's always a joy so we got the guy on the harley bogdan and uh, another guy on a bmw 1200 gsa uh, that's Robert. Most of the major trips we run together so far. So the loop around Kananaskis country, it's uh, quite spectacular. A lot of nice sceneries. Uh, you get to see uh, beautiful mountains uh, of Alberta. We'll be passing close to Nakiska Ski Resort and uh, Peter Lougheed Provincial Park as well. So in that region, uh, there's quite a few campsites there, those are province uh, that's a provincial park so you won't find any hookups if you're planning to go with the trailer make sure you have a uh, battery and water prior to coming in i did mention about this trip uh, in my last video when i was heading out uh, almost a week ago now uh, that was a sunday by myself towards chain lakes provincial park so that loop is pretty famous for the bike riders uh, from Calgary. Like people usually do that on a Sunday or a Saturday uh, throughout the day. Say there's quite a few nice pit stops on the way. Uh, we'll see where we're gonna stop and all, but uh, planning to stop for ice cream first thing. The boys are speeding and I already got a ticket last month. I'm not planning to get another one. They caught me actually not on a bike. I was heading uh, with my family camping. I got pulled over doing uh, over 120 in uh, 100 zone. Uh, beautiful Rocky Mountains up ahead. If you are ever visiting Calgary and planning to ride through Alberta, I do recommend uh, doing that little loop. Yeah, check out this gorgeous view up ahead. We are in foothills now, so just approaching the mountains. When I used to live in Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada and every time I came to Alberta going uh, on this stretch of the road that was a wow moment for me I do enjoy that view uh, whether it's a summer or winter it's gorgeous uh, summer you get a nice beautiful skies and the mountains showing very nice and in the winter they're nicely covered with the snow they're breathtaking yeah, I was always so excited to come out here. Now, the last six years I've been living here since I moved and I don't regret a thing. In Manitoba there's not many places you can ride. Uh, well, you can, but it's mostly straight stretches. And here, there is uh, so much variety where you can go and enjoy the rides. Oh, I think we got a smoking smoky bear up ahead. Like I said, and the boys were speeding. They caught, they saw him in time, I guess. So this is uh, exit towards Kalinowski's country right here. Uh, casino on the left. Also, if you're visiting here, they offer uh, helicopter tours. So up ahead also, there's a um, boundary ranch. So you can go horseback riding. I did it a couple times and my daughter really enjoyed it. Got to take her again. And uh, they offer different tours. Uh, you can go for a couple hours or, or you can go on multi-day adventure. Along this road or highway, there is a, a lot of nice hikes too uh, that we did before. 
We were just here a couple of weeks ago uh, with the family hiking in uh, Mist Mountain and uh, so over in that hike when you get to the top almost right at the top there's hot springs uh, natural hot springs that you can uh, dip in um, it's a good idea when you decide to do that hike come out uh, during the week because on a weekend it's too crowded you will be waiting quite uh, quite some time to get into the water because those pools uh, are pretty small there's only two pools and uh, when there's a lot of people it gets quite busy there so you'll be waiting for a long time yeah there is a lot of adventure in Kananaskis uh, as you see uh, the mountains here they have a lot to offer the views are just gorgeous and here up ahead you see those tracks between the trees that's the Kiska Ski Resort it's a perfect spot to learn if you are new uh, myself I can only come here when I'm coming with my daughter because she's, like, uh, she's eight years old so she's still learning and the beauty part uh, that the, the bunny hill on this mountain resort is um, you don't even have to pay the, the you don't have to buy the pass uh, so you can uh, come out and teach your little ones skiing while you're there and uh, there's some nice runs too for uh, a little bit more advanced but uh, keep in mind again that uh, this uh, this resort is probably one of the more busy ones because it's uh, the closest to Calgary it's only like 40 minutes 45 minute drive so yeah there's a lot of fun in here not much longer before we're gonna get snow again here maybe another month to pushing another good choice when to come out on a bike yesterday was raining and unfortunately I was working too and today uh, another beautiful day and there's uh, the exit to Nakiska ski resort right there Nordic uh, Nordic Spa there we go Nakiska village Kalanaski's village I mean near that resort there's a very easy hike it's called uh, Trolls Falls so basically you just uh, follow that exit here and uh, there's a big parking lot and right of the side there is a beautiful hike uh, with a nice waterfalls and it's called Troll Falls you can do that with the little ones as it's uh, pretty easy it's a family friendly hike uh, not much effort required to go through it you can go walk along the river and uh, on one side and come out on the other side a lot of opportunities to uh, nice photos and right here to the left we have the boundary ranch that's uh, where you can go horseback riding I'm not sure if you can see that round hole right on top of almost at the top or to the left of that mountain looks pretty amazing snow is still here and we have September wow the wind is pretty powerful and that's where we're gonna stop for some ice cream apparently stop for ice cream and now the trip continues I think that we are close to the last hike that we did it's a Peter Lawhead Provincial Park no that's not it that's a Grizzly Creek 
this is the stretch that they close over the winter so that's like I say it's open only till October and then there's a closure of this road so here up ahead you can tell on that mountain how the forces created it and uh, the, the rock was pushed and you can see the lines across the the whole mountain here that's after the ice age I believe everything was pushed over and actually quite quite a few spots here in the Rocky Mountains you can see that that doesn't look uh, like most of the other mountains in the world they are more even sides but here you can actually see in which directions they were compressed to, to the right there's leftovers of the glacier you can still see a little bit but uh, that fine sand usually is left after the glacier melts right there you can tell that And again here you can tell all those markings on those oh part part began circle this is the hike that we did and that's right to the left uh, there is a nice waterfall and it's a super easy hike it's like uh, less than uh, less than an hour uh, very easy walking up uh, beautiful uh, couple hours you can spend with your family as well here we got prepared when we came here on a long hike it ended up uh, didn't take any time at all so we came up that mountain here to the left and then we had a nice uh, lunch break or brunch I should say maybe right at the waterfall my daughter uh, was jumping around the falls and uh, having some fun playing in the water okay we're leaving Peter Lawhead Provincial Park overlapping the views from one spectacular place to another okay so this is probably mist mountain it looks very familiar yeah this is it so that's a mist mountain that's where the hot springs are uh, but this one to get up there it's quite challenging we hike uh, quite a bit but uh, going up here that was a real workout especially the first like, I think that's over two kilometer uh, the incline is pretty pretty harsh so yeah you get prepared for that once you go through that first incline it's not too bad and then at the top you get a little bit of a loose rock that you have to cross over so basically there's two different options to, to, to hike that mountain here uh, you can go uh, right to the summit then you're gonna keep to the left or you can head on to the right once you are over the meadow at the top and uh, you'll cross over the, that uh, loose rock and that will get you to the natural hot springs uh, which is quite amazing um, you'll be up high and a beautiful view and you can dip your butt in the warm water uh, flowing from the mountains like the hot springs uh, in Banff National Park uh, they're like uh, they, they made so they made sort of uh, into a pool but uh, those ones here it's all natural so basically I think that hikers did it uh, they just put a little loops made out of rock uh, to hold the water make like little basins and uh, like two to three people max can fit in one basin and uh, it's pretty amazing experience um, not sure if that's even doable in the winter uh, that would be probably amazing in the winter to be there in that warm water uh, surrounded by snow we chose a pretty nice weather and it wasn't busy here so but quite often during the summer especially vacation time when the kids are off uh, there's quite a few hikers in this area doing that uh, that hike 
Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in a part two. I'll be riding a Harley Davidson for the first time.